Hello guys and welcome back today. I've got a build order for you for the polls. This one's another one of those little crazy build orders that I've been working on. Uh, these little fast castle builds. Uh, this one is uh, 23 plus 2 fast castle into one stable knights uh, with a follow up of a castle drop which then results into uh, obu spam. So yeah, if you've uh, you've probably seen some of the 1v1s where I've been doing this on, uh, on the channel. It's it's quite a fun one to do in terms of win win rates with it. Uh, I'm certainly in a positive win rate, um, but uh, it's not quite as OP as the um, step lancer build. But essentially, six on food, four on wood, one to lure the first boar, blah blah blah. So usual kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, it's quite a quite a fun one, and if you can get a good mass of the O boots together, it's just insane uh, because you're going to get arson and you're going to just rip down everything that comes in your way really but uh, it is quite vulnerable to early aggression you can get away with um, obviously water amount of resources like we do with the step lancer build uh, but certainly you know drush can cause you a few issues uh, full archers can cause you some issues and um, really i think if, if your opponent goes really heavily into full feudal uh, investment that can cause you a lot of issues as well uh, especially if they send some pikes forward with whatever they've got whether that be archers or uh, scouts so yeah can be quite tricky and certainly you know as always with these builds just a straight tower <laughs> on your gold or wherever uh, will cause you quite a few issues as well so uh, it does have its weaknesses but when it works uh, which seems to be more often than not it's really really good so now we've got the um, four on wood, we sent one to lure the boar, and now we're just sending five over to uh, berries. One of them is going to make a house, and then we're going to get the full walk down. Now I'd like to give a little bit of a gap between the uh, full walk and the berries, just so that you can wall off uh, a little bit later on and just keep your, your villages protected. Um, might not need to do that. Probably could have butted it up against the berries, but I also like to get it there just so that your farms around this top edge of the full walk are going to be protected by town centre as well uh, if you do get raided so yeah five on berries we're going to send another um two to the boar after that so just one more for berries you see we're pushing the deer in already um want to get all three of the deer and there we go so we've got two to boar slash deer uh, we're going to lure the uh, second ball, the uh, second uh, deer um, villager. That was a little bit of a mistake. I meant to select two there to shoot it, but only selected one, so that was a bit annoying. <laughs> so yeah, next one to come out is going to go and lure the ball. Uh, I think this bit's a little bit sloppy as well, if I can remember rightly from when I did this, but we'll we'll kind of uh, we'll just brush past that a little bit. And now we've got the two on um, food. I'm going to send three over to wood. And then we're going to send one up to stone after that. So three more to, uh, to wood, then one to stone. And we're going to get uh, loom as well. Yeah, there you go. Not the best. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, we want to be making two farms as well at this point. So just that little bit of uh, full walk farm boost will uh, help us out a bit. Uh, from that but we are using the overlay uh, from crafty salamander this is a bit of a, like a, a build order that i've designed for it got it already so it could uh, work in there um, it's not one that you do get with the program when you download it this is a personal personally made one lovingly made by morley games <laughs> just having a few issues with that deer there we go and i messed it up again <laughs> oh comedy of errors and uh, we should be able to click up there we go okay so yeah with these uh, overlay files if you do want to get your own you can get them via patreon or via the uh, channel memberships on youtube so do check them out you can also get some pdfs as well uh, equivalents and we do have probably over like 50 pdfs i think at the moment um, got quite a few of the overlay builds now. Uh, somebody called uh, Hot Cross Bomb, one of the uh, 
uh, former members of the channel has uh, helped us out by making quite a few more so I think we've probably got over 20 of the overlay files now probably 25 so quite a full range uh, but you can find links to uh, patreon and channel memberships in the description of the video if you do want to get your own so now we're on the way up we've just made a barracks with one of the berry villages we're just um, walling up a little bit uh, around the resources just to get ourselves a little bit more secured and as soon as we hit the castle age we're going to send two new villages to stone. We're going to make a market and a stable. I do tend to use three villages to make the market uh, just to get it up as quickly as possible because we do need to sell a couple of um, about 200 stone. So there we go, that's coming down now. We'll get the stables down. You might find it's a little bit tight on wood, but hopefully you're okay with that. And. As you can see, we're still collecting berries. Let's just fast forward. Now it is a little bit tight on food. Uh, if you've got elephants, you should be fine. But as you can see, we're just having to quickly have a mad panic to try and drop food off and stuff. But there you go. So it did cause us a little bit of idle time, um, nothing major. But yeah, certainly if you've got elephants, you wouldn't have had that issue. Elephants and rhinos. So. On your way up, we're going to send four from food over to stone, and the other, other villagers are just going to finish those sheep off and then add some uh, farms in as well. Now, this is against the extreme AI, uh, they have decided to do a bit of a drush, so it's not the, the best um, sort of scouting, if you like, from the AI. Could have gone over to my stone, uh, possibly could have come around over to my wood, but I would have been able to get that ward off anyway, like we are doing now. We do want to make some houses on the way up, or at least one. So yeah, those villages, one of those will just make a farm on the way up. There we go. I'll just fast forward. And the other two, I'll just send them to wood for the time being. Uh, we did get horse collar as well whilst we were advancing. Uh, before that farm came down, we're going to add another uh, farm as well there. Just to get a bit of a bit of a bonus. Uh, obviously, this will probably be a lot more uh, chaotic if it was a real uh, build or real game. But now we've hit the castle age, we are going to be looking at making some knights. I generally recommend you know, four or five just so you can clear this up. Uh, you might need to sell a little bit of stone in the process, but um, you know you should be okay with four or five nights. We don't want to overinvest. We've not gone in for uh, bloodlines either, um, just as I say, because we're not really focusing on the, the main push with the knights. It's more about uh, just having enough knights to kill off the enemy and... Um, and then go forward as you can see we've made another full walk basically all the new villages at this point just going on to farms um now the berries are done we're going to send four of them to gold one of them over to stone so we should have eight on stone there four on the gold and as you can see we have cleared up the enemy again it is ai so take it with a pinch of salt um real games do tend to be a hell of a lot more chaotic than this <laughs> just to pre-warn you it's not going to be easy easy sailing it is a, a pretty nuts strategy so you've got to really um be careful i suppose with uh with what we're doing so send your knights forward just start raiding or trying to break in the enemy base if you can get through some walls do a little bit more raiding um obviously it's ai so there's no no wall in so just able to go in and just cause a few little issues for the ai there don't get housed well you know a you know, little tip there <laughs> um don't get housed i think i only make the four nights in this build in this uh demo if, if i remember rightly um you could even you know start banking up a bit of gold use it to buy some more stone so you can get down there uh, a little more quickly i think if you have a look at the golden stone count i do do that in a minute possibly well keep your eye on it i will do i'll sell um sell a little bit i think i'll do it in a minute come on yeah well i'll buy some stone in a minute <laughs> but yeah we still there we go uh, and then we're going to send those guys forward so we're just sending all those eight stone villages forward we're um, still just adding farms 
Um, I think we can probably look at getting some upgrades, possibly at this point for the uh, double bit axe. Probably afford that. They might as well. And Orson. I think I've got Orson. Well, it's going to be in in a minute anyway. All this time, just keep on being annoying with your knights. Let's speed this up. And then essentially, I'm going to get that castle up. Pick somewhere nice for the castle where you can either take gold or stone. Ideally, because you want to be able to fo uh, follow up with another uh, forward castle as well. Once you're you know, a bit further in. Um, if it's not particularly going how you want it to go, you're getting quite a lot of pressure. Just build the castle defensively and just spam your units forward. I, that's what I've ended up doing in uh, one of the recent games that I played. Uh, so if you're not too confident in sending them forward, uh, do just make it as a defensive one, protect your eco a bit, and then just spam the, the obus there. Uh, but they produce really fast. Uh, I'm not sure how long it is, maybe 10 seconds or so. 15, not 10 seconds, is it? it's probably more than about 15 seconds. Um, so really, really quickly, you can quite quickly mass up uh, a, a good amount of those. When you can, perhaps you know, get your armor upgrade, and then perhaps the attack upgrade as well. But to be honest, all you really need is arson. But that's pretty much it at this point. So uh, if you do enjoy the content on the channel, then do consider subscribing because we do have a target of reaching 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, we've just hit 7,000 today. So really pleased with that. But uh, yeah, if you do enjoy the content, do consider subscribing. On the screen now is a 1v1 game where I've used this strategy. So you can check that out. See you on the next one.